Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing something very interesting, which is uh, like after 10 to 13 years, how is this original Beats by Dre tour, you know, compared to all the other uh, higher end stuff, uh, which is the uh, Sony XBA3, okay, and the Duno SA6, as well as the uh Acoustion HS1677 stainless steel so it is very interesting because uh, back then in, in 2008 when Beats first released this Beats tour uh, the original design is comes in black and red this one is uh, I think is they all released this much later maybe in 2010 to 12 okay they released this white color so this has been in my possession for quite some time. Um, it is still really new, you can see. I took really good care of it. I think this is about 10 years old or maybe maximum like 12 years old. Okay, you can count back. Um, I may share about how to determine this is original, uh, this is original or not. Very easy. First, you can see the nozzle design. Later, I'll be sharing about the uh, the sound performance of this, okay, this tour original version 1 compared to all the other IMs which I have. Okay, first, if you want to look, is it original? First of all, you can see this is a perfectly uh, shaped CNC chrome, okay. This entire body is chrome, especially the nozzle part. And secondly, you can see the nozzle and the cylindrical body, you can see. Actually, it's separated. They are not sticking together, you can see. They are separated. Okay. And you can see the finishing of the mesh is really, really nice, very precise. Everything, the finishing is really nice. And the logo here, you can see there is some straight line because it's vertically brushed aluminum. And if you use your fingernail, actually this is being pressed. You know, this red B logo is being pressed down. So this is the original design. Other counterfeits, they just like stick the entire uh, aluminum with the Beats logo while well, doesn't have this kind of uh, Beats red color being pressed and the red is very very pronounced. It's very nice. Okay. And here, it is also brushed, I guess it's aluminum or chrome, I'm not sure. You can see again the straight lines. Okay. And the finishing is very very tight. You can see there is no gap. Okay, there is very, very no gap between the wire and also the uh, this part the, the chrome part yeah so this is how you determine is it original or not besides the packaging and whatnot and uh, last but not least I just wanted to show some disclaimer okay um, for the sound comparison I'm actually using a Fior M11 Pro stainless steel okay and I'm using this uh, DD Hi-Fi uh, 3.5mm female to 4.4mm jack okay because the balance output actually provides cleaner sound and also more power so I'm using this to test with all other IMs which I have okay okay now let's go to the sound performance itself um, first of all these are, these are actually for bass head okay uh, this is for bass head and uh, at first, if you get used to listen to this very famous Duno SS6, okay, is being tuned correctly to Harman target curve uh, with slight sub bass and bass elevation, okay. And after you, you know, you have been get used to this for some time, and when you switch to this, you will felt that the worker on this beats is a little bit weird, okay. There are some, I'm not sure is it honkiness, but is a little bit unnatural okay let's talk about the most obvious point one is the vocal second is the ultra high frequency travel is whatever which is beyond 16 kilohertz um, this is totally recessed okay this one is super recessed for the ultra high frequency let me just show you the graph okay just in comparison okay so you can see the red, uh, red line is the Duno SS6 you can see beyond this 10 kilo, 15 kilo, it still have some response. Okay. Also for the same as the Acoustune 
HS1677, the dark blue color line, okay? And once you see, the red color here is the beads tour. As I said, it's base head because it has very great elevation on the low frequency in comparison with the other you know, frequencies. It is the highest point. Now, what is weird is, you can see here, around 3 kilohertz and around 5 kilohertz there are two weird peaks okay which actually doesn't appear much in the duno sa6 you know the 3 and the 5 it is not peak so you will hear a little bit unnatural in the vocal reproduction of the beats tour and you can see like after right after around maybe I'm not sure this part is uh, maybe 14 or 16 kilohertz. You can see it suddenly become very, very, very recessed. Okay, if in comparison with the Duna SA6, you can see after around 15k and after that, beyond 15k, it is still has uh, quite a substantial response. And the HS1677 Acoustion has even more reproduction of the ultra high frequency after 15 or 16 kilohertz. Okay, so these are the technicalities of it based on the graph explanation. However, you know, I still appreciate this because this is the first IEM that actually maybe uh, indicate like what is high resolution means because on the box, if you mention about, you know, by Dr. Dre, he quoted, uh, you aren't hearing all the music or all the sound that the artist intended to because you know normal earphone or headphone they doesn't cover the entire frequency range and yeah maybe that is their selling point okay although this original beats tour uh, have some weird uh, you know peaks in the vocal reproduction and also really recess high frequency reproduction however this really sound big Okay, this really sound big un uh, until today. And another weakness of it, if compared to all the other IMs, uh, this has very low sensitivity, very, very low sensitivity, meaning you have to boost up the volume very high. Then only it is in comparison with the loudness of this Acoustion HS1677 SS. This is currently the most sensitive IEM that, that is in my possession this acoustic uh you know maybe due to the uh, 10 or 13 years kind of technology advancement this has stronger magnet and also the diaphragm of the dynamic driver you know the single dynamic driver is totally different so this is a very sensitive im meaning to say this is a very efficient im that does not need a lot of power to drive it you can use an android phone you can use anything even your laptop to dry this guy very easily. For, for my normal listening level, like on the DAP, you know, on my Fior M11 Pro stainless steel, the volume I listen range about 40, okay? The set volume is 40 out of 120. However, when, when it comes to this guy, I need at least 55 to 60. Yeah, just to show you in comparison the sensitivity of it, okay? Now, uh, I'm comparing it in a more holistic manner because this one is like single DD then this one is pure BA has 6 BA and then this one is the Sony A3 is hybrid okay have a large uh, 60mm 60, 60 dynamic driver and one full range BA and another one uh, uh, ultra high tweeter BA so I can say you know you 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 can't really compare with last time the technology that 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 beats offer okay a lot of people bash bash this im but looking back uh the build quality and the amount of bass and also it does really sound big okay this is not a perfect im of course and uh, but however this you know give back a lot of good memories and also unique sound okay i can just only mention the sound is unique yeah unique in a way that is a bass head maybe there is some bass bleed but you know after listening for long hours your ears will adjust to the frequency tuning of these beats then 
apparently it sounded okay yeah so that is my two cents about this beats tour it is still a really wonderful uh you know i am okay and this white color i think is quite rare because it's really difficult to find um yeah so i think that's it for my sharing about for this uh, very legendary to me is is a really legendary kind of IM because it reminds me of my previous uh, you know childhood of owning one of these back then is is i think it's quite expensive and it first release is around 199 usd then they cut down to 169 129 and then finally 99 and then they stopped production in the year 2012 yeah so yeah guys if uh, anyone still own this beats tour please preserve it well because this is the starting point in my own experience this is the starting point of high fidelity or audio file or high resolution kind of hobby yeah thanks to this guy okay guys see you and have a nice day hope everyone stay safe bye